I've tried a lot of different cook sets for motorcycle camping. One of the first I tried was this MSR set here. It's a pretty good cook set. It's really heavy and bulky. The stove works off of gasoline which seemed like a good idea since I had gasoline for the motorcycle anyways but in practice it didn't really work out so great uses this pump here that goes inside of this fuel tank here and then there's a windscreen here and the stove actually worked really well. Never had any problems with it or anything. You have to take it apart and clean it and rebuild it every year. It gets kind of sooted up and this one's already been cleaned and I haven't used it since I cleaned it. But it's kind of cool because you can cook quite a bit on this much gasoline and if you run out you can take gas out of the bike or even use this in the bike if you have to and the cook set that I use with it is this MSR set here it's a uh, pretty complete it's got a uh, frying pan which is pretty nice for camping I mean it's not one of those cheap aluminum ones that gets hot in one spot and the rest it's got kind of a thick bottom and then the handle is in here comes off you can kind of put that over that and I had here's the handle for the frying pan here goes on there like like that. And as you can see from the kit, most of the black is on the frying pan. That's what I use the most. These are my utensils I had. I had these cool little folding spatula that folds up and this spoon that folds up. This is the uh, for cleaning it. And this is just some spices. And then that's the pot. I probably should clean it. I don't use this kit anymore. It's just too big and heavy. But when I was on the KLR, this was my first cook set that I used. It seemed like a lightweight kit at the time compared to some of the other options. But I moved on to this kit after the MSR, which is based on the uh, uh, Stanley cook set. And this is a uh, Walmart copy of a GSI cup. And then I switched from gasoline fuel to alcohol and then this is the alcohol stove that I used and I used this kit for quite a while and it worked fine never had any problems with it you know I kinda got away from cooking food to just boiling water and using the mountain house stuff this worked great for that and then making my coffee in the morning you can see I use this for a long time. And the stainless is even starting to rust. I used it so much, I guess. And this is a good setup here. I know a lot of people still use this same st style of a uh, cook set. And I used alcohol for a long time. Did pretty good. And then I moved on to this kit which is 
This is a GSI cup, uh, actual GSI cup, not the Walmart copy. And I switched to a butane stove or isobutane stove. And they're much lighter. This is a really small stove here. Works really well. And I use this stove for maybe about six, seven, eight months. And it worked pretty good. And all I did is just boil water for making coffee and heating water for the dehydrated mills. That's all I used it for. And then I switched again to a bigger kit. Just because I was on a longer trip and felt like cooking actual food again. And I used this kit not very long. It worked pretty well. It's just big. And this is a little stand for the bottle here. Holds a bottle. And this is a little Chinese stove. Um, never had any issues with it actually it's a really nice stove and it was really cheap I think it was eight bucks and it's got its own little igniter in it and everything pretty good stove actually you can find these on Amazon really cheap it worked pretty good and I use this for just a few trips and the cook set is a Sea to Summit folding cook set. If you've never seen these, you'd think they wouldn't work, but I can assure you it does. And this is actually my coffee maker here. I can make actual coffee instead of the dehydrated stuff. And this sits on top of the cup. Everything folds up flat, which was kind of nifty. And you put this on top of here, like that, and then you boil your water in this kettle here that folds up. It's a little folding kettle. And then you set that on the stove, and it works pretty good. And then you pour your hot water over your coffee, and you have coffee and then you can use the hot water for the dehydrated meals and this kit worked really well it's just kinda big and heavy for me but everything worked on it but I didn't keep it too long then I went to let me see this kit here I believe Yeah, this is a stainless steel cook set. And I don't have a fuel bottle in there, but you can see it uses a stainless steel stove. And uh, it's a pretty good little kit here. And this just goes on your bottle like that, and then you're pot goes on top of like that and I use this one for a while just a couple times this one's cool because it's got a little bale on it so you can hang it from a fire which I never did that but you could if you wanted to and it's stainless steel pretty durable nice little kit and then I got one of these folding spoons which I used to really like these but I don't ever use these anymore. And I got away from that kit. And I switched to almost the exact same kit as that. Except for it's titanium. And I got a little bit different folding spoon. It's got a much longer handle. And it's plastic. This is made by MSR. And then this one's ready to go here. 
This is a titanium pot, 750 milliliter. And I decided I really like titanium. It's much lighter. You can see these are the same, same pot. Just one stainless steel and one is titanium. And titanium is much, much lighter. So this kit worked pretty good and then it's got this titanium stove in it and works pretty good. And I use this stove for a few Hi. trips. So I use this for a while, and then now I'm using this stove right here. This is my primary stove I use. I don't really use anything else anymore. And it's just a titanium pot in this little sack here. It's a little spice holder. There's a another folding spoon, but this one's titanium, and I don't really use it. I don't know why I carry it in there, but it's kind of useful for getting bugs out of my water and stuff. And I have this little titanium stove here that weighs almost nothing and works great. And, uh, inside of here, I just got a lighter. A little Gerber knife. This is a little deal for putting on the cup here so you don't burn your lip when you're drinking coffee out of it. Just goes on there like that. Uses the ISO butane fuel. It's all titanium. Works great and weighs little. And this is the cook set that I use primarily now. Thanks for watching.